This is the Recycled Firefighter 24 hour battalion bag. It's one of my favorites. Yes, as a commenter mentioned recently, they're all my favorites. You know what, when you love bags, most of them tend to be your favorites. And this really is one of my favorites. Anyway, uh, so without further ado, let's get into it. So as I mentioned, this is the Recycled Firefighter 24 hour bag. This is a 1000D Cordura version in black, as you can see. This backpack is made in the USA, it's made in Kentucky. The company is called Recycled Firefighter. It was founded by a guy named Jake, who used to be a firefighter. There are many interesting things about this bag that I'm gonna to touch on in this video. I don't tend, or I don't think this video is gonna be super, super long, but you never know. I always say that, always ends up being 30 minutes. So, well, this bag recently went back up for sale on their website and it's going to be coming back more, so I thought it'd be a good time to talk about it. As I mentioned, it's 1000D Cordura. 1000D Cordura, just for the record, doesn't necessarily have to be all the same from every company. The way 1000D Cordura works is there are different batches of it. It feels different depending on the batch, the supplier, blah, 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 blah. So some people will say this feels thinner than the Goruck. To me, this feels about the same as the Slick Goruck. Here is the uh, Slick, the Goruck GR1 Slick. And uh, there's not much in it between these two from my perspective. Very almost identical feeling. This is a little bit like slicker, pun intended, but um, yeah, not much in it. Quick note about the material. So one thing to note is that uh, this black tends to not pick up very much hair uh, as opposed to the Goruck black. I'm not sure why that is. I don't know if it's uh, something related to the coating. It still picks up hair, of course, just not as much. There is a Velcro patch field here on the front, which you can stick your patchy things on if you have patchy things to stick. There is a top handle now. This top handle is not the original top handle. Let me get this guy off. So oh, I'll talk about this in a minute. The top handle here is two pieces of webbing stitched upon itself. It is nice enough. Um, it is box stitched here and double stitched in places it should be double stitched. And behind that, there is the recycled firefighter logo, which also says made in the USA. Uh, you can stick your water thingy through here if you, it's a strange sensation. Water thing through here if that's what floats your boat. I don't tend to use water thingies. On the front there's one big pocket which we'll talk about in a minute but I'm gonna get around to the back first. The back panel, there are these two straps which are thick and well padded and feel kind of like a broken in Goruck strap. So Goruck straps tend to be very like dense out of the box and eventually they start to feel like this. Uh, the recycled firefighter straps are still very dense like compared to almost every other strap you feel they'll feel very dense uh the bag does not have box stitching here like it does on the go ruck and there is no padding in this section here the reason for the reading no padding here is just so that the strap can fit to your shoulder more easily a lot, a lot of the reason why go ruck straps don't fit people well is that the padding extends all the way up so that at first they tend to sit off your shoulder like this and eventually as they break in, they start to go like this. This is not something to worry about. It's more of a design thing than it is. I think it's a design choice as opposed to a, um, a, a fault. Now I heard lots of reviewers mention this as if it's a fault. In my opinion, I don't think it's a fault at all. It just makes it fit to your back a little bit better. Why do you need padding here? It's not even gonna touch your shoulder. That's all I'm gonna say about that. As you can see the top here, this handle sticks off very well. There is webbing that goes along here. It's not molly sized or pals sized. It's not really pals webbing, it's just kind of webbing. It's for your sternum strap. You can stick or you can latch things onto here. The sternum strap comes with the bag. It didn't always, but it does now. It's nice enough. It's national molding, I believe. It's something made in the USA is all I can see. Uh, apparently this bag, he sources all of the materials from the USA which, you know, if you're American, it's probably something that matters to you. I'm not American, it doesn't really matter to me that much, but it's something to note. Here on the bottom, he also includes these strap keepers, which you can see here. Uh, this 
is a welcome addition. It helps keep your straps to not dangle, basically. Back panel has no form of, um, what would you call that? No form of ventilation. It has these fake faux ventilation things. I mean, I'm sure they do something. I don't think they do a whole lot, but they are there in case you need them. It has its own laptop compartment. It unzips like so, and uh, it looks like so. This is the first time you're gonna see this bright orange lining. A 15 inch laptop fits in here perfectly, a 16 inch as well. Uh, it's not raised up off the bottom, so you're basically kind of touching the bottom here. There's like a little lip that can kind of help with a fatter laptop, but my MacBook Air, for example, just hits the bottom here. So I tend to put a sleeve in here, or I put my laptop in the main compartment, which I'll explain in a minute. Although it is nicely padded on both sides, no frame sheet. So if I'm in the mood for a frame sheet or I want this to be a bit stiffer, I'll tend to put the frame sheet in, frame sheet in here and the laptop in the main compartment. That being said, I don't think you really need a frame sheet with a bag like this. So whatever floats your boat. Now this is all 1000D Cordura here on the back. So if you wear suits and stuff, this might scuff. The 1000D on the recycled firefighter black here and uh, my experiences with the black. Don't know if it's the same because uh, I do have a multi-cam black 24 hour plus, which is very abrasive, that material, that 1000D that they use in the multi-cam, but this one is not. It's very slick and nice. Okay, back around to the front. Let's talk about this front zipper. So there's a zipper here that goes all the way down like so. This is one thing I think that um, GORUCKS could improve on is the front pocket. GORUCK have that slant pocket here which goes down and it's like when your bag is full you can't get anything out of it. This one on the other hand, it looks something like this and it tends to, while it doesn't technically have its own volume, uh, things tend to fit in here a lot more nicely. There are three vertical po or horizontal pockets inside here that look like so. Um, they tend to, I think because the bag is kind of floppy, you tend to be able to get into these pretty well. So what I do is in this main guy here, I don't tend to put anything, although you could put something flat, maybe one of your magazines, if you want to roll it up. And people always ask me about magazines. They seem to think these pockets are like magazine size. I mean, for me, a magazine fits in here a lot better, doesn't it? Is it because I'm Canadian that I don't understand that? that I don't understand. Like, do you have smaller magazines in the States? Cause like our Canadian magazines definitely will not fit in here unless you roll it up and almost rip it apart. So I don't know, maybe the magazines are different sizes. Now in here, so there are, this pocket is like about, um, about like literally from here to here, thick, uh, wide, sorry. And you can put something in here, like I'll put my keys in there so I can sling the bag around and grab my keys out. There's another pocket here. This pocket uh, is where I keep my wallet. It's about perfectly wallet size. That's the Bellroy Apex wallet. Uh, one thing I want to mention about these pockets and something I think Jake could improve on, Jake, the founder of this company, he could make the pockets stop maybe, at least one of the pockets stop maybe halfway, like say here, so that your things are easier to grab because they, the pocket goes all the way to here. So right now my wallet is like, I'm touching my wallet here. So in order to get my wallet out, I have to like really like dig deep inside like so. It's not really a big deal, honestly, in use <laughs> and probably safer, um, but it's something to note. And then this top one here, there's one. This one can be hard to get to because the lip is like right at the edge here, um, but not so bad. So I put my mask in there these days, brown buffalo mask. And yeah, I mean, because the mask has like a little dangly thing, it's good. I can just kind of yank it out. This lip here, I've heard some reviewers complain about it because it goes right along the edge. For me, that's a good thing because if you kind of run away with your bag open, things can't really fall out because they get hooked in here. So for me, I actually like that. I don't think it's a problem. It doesn't take much effort to just go like this. So, and for me in use, it hasn't really mattered. Like, as you can see, I can still easily just stick my hand in. I can still stick my hand in. It's like, it doesn't really get in the way, so. Just something to note. Now these zippers are all YKK number 10 zippers and they're all USA made YKK number 10 zippers. Number 10 zippers literally everywhere on this bag, everywhere. It's one of the things that makes this bag feel great in use. 
So like, just look how smooth this number 10 YKK zipper is. It's like no effort at all. I mean, like literally between this and the dispatch bag, I think that the zippers are the smoothest I've ever seen in a bag. Can you see that? I could do that all day, seriously. Zipper pulls are just 550 paracord. Something to note about the 550 paracord is I got one bag from Recycled Firefighter where it was fraying a bit. I contacted them. They said that that was an issue they had with one batch of bags and they didn't catch all of them. If you do have an issue with that, hit them up. They will sort you out. Um, while they uh, tend not to have like a kind of go rucky and scars warranty thing, uh, they do have good customer service over there, at least in my experience. So let's get into the main compartment. Now, there are of course two zippers here and you can kind of, again, YKK number 10 and just like, it's just so smooth, so smooth, so very smooth. It's like unbelievably smooth. Honestly, once you use these zippers, you're gonna have a hard time going back to any other zipper because it's just like, I mean, there's something to be said about that. And this bag is floppy, so it's not even that structured. If it was structured, it would be easier to get around. So let's get into the main compartment. I am going to open it maybe that away so you can see better. The light is coming from here. So similar to the GORUCK bags, it opens full clamshell. I will say the GORUCKs tend to be like a little bit like ga -ga -ga, like finicky down here. Like you got to like push this out to get it to flop. This guy just kind of flops open like nobody's business. And uh, yeah, that's what the inside of the bag looks like. The first thing you'll notice is this bright orange interior. This is blaze orange. Sometimes it's yellow on the X-Pack versions. And the newest version he released of this is all black. Look, if it were me, I would wait until the orange came back. I love the way the orange looks. Like here's, you got your black, you got your orange. I love the way that looks, but whatever floats your boat, you know, if you want it to be all blacked out, you want it to be all blacked out, up to you. Link in the description below to uh, the 24 hour bag in general. His stock changes all the time, so it really depends on you. So let's talk about these pockets. There's two pockets here. They do have a little bit of their own dimension, the way that they're made. So you can like, you can see, you can put some fatter items in here. I have my AirPods. This is the, uh, the AirPods Pro with a Nomad case maybe. Leather case. This, my EDC knife. So this is a uh, Victory Knox Pioneer uh, Forest Green, which was a gift from a dear friend of mine. Thank you very much. And uh, I love, love this little bit of paracord on it. One of my favorite EDC items. Goes with me everywhere. Uh, in the bottom pocket here, again, these are YKK number 10 zippers. Like smooth as smooth can be in the bottom pocket here because there's volume can you see that like enough there's like tons of volume in here this thing this is my porter stuff sack which you know it has this very cool mechanism that opens like so and then i just have t-shirt and deodorant in here i don't need to show you and uh to do it back up you kind of just give it a pull like this now just to show you like this is kind of fat and it fits in here, no problem at all. Like, no problem at all. And if you see this extra space here, this is space that is like above my cube here. So that can sit easily in here without any issue at all. Okay, inside the main compartment. The inside compartment is about that deep. Uh, it's slightly more narrow than a GORUCK GR1 uh, 21 liter. Uh, this is supposed to be 18 liters according to their website. It acts more like 20 to 22 to me um, in use and I find I can get easily as much or more in this than I can get into GR1 21 liter. So that's something to note. The liter thing. Nobody fills these bags up with water to figure out how many liters it can hold. The cubic thing, cubic centimeters, cubic inches, all that kind of stuff is, it's quite subjective. I mean, it doesn't sound like it would be subjective. Inside the bag, I keep this. Now this is my favorite, favorite, favorite pouch. Um, it is the GORUCK wire dot. My whole life sits in here. I have like cables and chargers and pens for work and yeah, little Korean guy here. 
but uh, these are uh, back available on the GoRuck website. Highly recommend it, at least at the time of filming this. Uh, they are like cheap and one of the best accessories I ever bought because it fits almost in every bag. And when I get to work, I can just flop it open inside my bag here. And it's as if I got, you know, like two more mesh pockets on the side. Great purchase, love this thing. This also fits perfectly in here. So if I wanted to change my loadout, I could put this here and I could just easily put this in here like that. It fits no problem in there if that was something I wanted to do. I tend not to do that because like, I mean, it fits perfectly fine in this space. So no need. Stuff this back in there. Uh, the last thing I have in here is the Evergoods uh, CAP Civic Access Pouch, which has become my camera cube, uh, just my Leica in there. And basically this holds my Leica and it's slightly narrow, but it does the trick. And in the top pouch here, I just have my charger and stuff. And it's been, uh, yeah, good for that. So get these out. And finally, this is one of my favorite accessories ever. This is from from a company called Nedrolo. And I don't know if I said that right, but basically what it is, is it's magnetic. Your laptop sits in here. My laptop is recording the audio, my bad. And it just kind of goes like this and you can carry your laptop around and it's a case. Magnets all the way around. Epic thing, it's like a hundred bucks, but well, well, well worth it. I love this, one of my favorite accessories. So what I tend to do is leave it here and I will just uh, put my laptop in here and then boop, it's closed and it's protected and held up off by these magnets on the bottom. This is a great um, accessory if you're in the market for a laptop sleeve. Uh, it also doubles as a like workstation. So you can have your laptop here and some other stuff here. Close laptop, boom, done, in your bag and you're off to the races. I sometimes put this in the laptop sleeve, just depends on how I'm rolling that day. So let me get this packed back up. There is a little hanger thingy here. Um, one thing I think they could do to improve this bag slightly would be to put like a sleeve like right here. Just a, any kind of basic sleeve. He does it on the, the plus version of the bag. There's like a sleeve here where you can just stuff something. I don't need it to be padded. I just need a sleeve. The, the GORUCK has a sleeve here. I think that would be something that would improve this bag greatly. I don't care about the lack of molly and all that, or pals and all that kind of stuff, but one sleeve would be amazing. Then if I wanted to, I could just stick my thing in there and my laptop would be like more secure and not jostling around. Again, not a big deal, just a suggestion. This top handle is just like a, a top handle from a Korean company called Ashina. Uh, I tend to use it on bags um, just because I think it feels comfortable and don't take that as a knock against the handle on this bag. The handle on this bag is fine. It's just that this handle is padded and better. Uh, I'm the type of person that tends to grab my bag from the handle all the time. So yeah, there's that. Uh, just for the record, as you can see, the bag stands up on its own perfectly fine. So it doesn't really lean. I mean, maybe slightly, but not so much. And especially if there's something heavy on the bottom, it will stand up on its own. Okay, so that's the basic rundown of the Recycled Firefighter. It took 20 minutes to talk about it. Now let's, re re let's talk about some other bags that are similar to this. So the first one was one we talked about earlier. This is the GORUCK GR1 21 liter slick. This is available from Huckberry. This is the Coyote Brown Black. As I said, 1000D Cordura here. Material is very similar to me. Um, the front pocket here is just one, there's just one front pocket here, which, you know, all your stuff kind of falls down to the bottom. It's okay. I don't mind it in use, but you know, it depends on you. Top handle is slightly nicer here, I believe. I mean, I never would put that Ashina thing on this. I don't think it needs it. The laptop compartment, the laptop compartment on this bag is uh, a better for sure. It is raised up off the bottom. It's got a frame sheet. It's just, it's just nicer. So if laptop protection is something that floats your boat, then the slick would be a slightly better offering. This is also made in the USA. There's no sternum strap. That's something to note. If you want a sternum strap, get the regular GR1. Uh, it doesn't come with web dominators. These are from Tom Bin, but that's okay. 
Hum and makes them for five bucks. Highly recommended. These are also number 10 YKK zippers here with a number eight on the front here. They're not USA YKK zippers as far as I know. Let me double check. Yeah, so they are Taiwanese YKK zippers, which to me doesn't make such a big difference, but maybe it does to some people. The bag itself is built in the USA. Nice mesh here. This pocket is covered, so you can't see it. And there is a sleeve here, which I just mentioned on this bag. Build quality, I mean, sure, maybe the GORUCK's slightly better. Uh, the SCARS warranty is the best warranty in the business, and it's free, comes with the bag. With this bag, you need to pay $9 for the warranty. This bag is $295. This bag is $179. So, after the warranty, $189 or $188. But, uh, it, so it really depends on your pocketbook, whether or not you would want to get this or this. To me, like, they are very similar. Aside from the laptop part, there's not much in it between these two. You can't go wrong with this bag. It's a great, great bag. This one too. So, there's that. Another one this bag could easily get compared to is this. This is the Evergoods CPL24. Now, you'll notice that in fact this feels bigger than this. This is supposed to be 18 liters. This is supposed to be 24 liters. I'm not sure. Uh, there is a vertical zip pocket on this bag. You'll see it's on the other side. When I sling this bag over my right shoulder, I can get inside here. This one, it's a left shoulder sling. That's annoying for some. Now, one thing this bag does better is it has a side handle here that you can grab kind of briefcase style, but you know, I don't do that so, so often, but I tend, because of this bag's uh, left side zipper, I tend to carry this bag like this more often. Um, so just because I don't like swinging it off my left shoulder. Uh, in terms of straps, uh, these straps are more contoured and I would say for my body type, uh, I prefer the straps here than this contour thingy, um, but for some people they would prefer this. And there is this kind of yoke system that Evergoods does. This is the old version of the bag. New version of the bag has a pocket up there, but whatever. Also clamshell opening. So it opens clamshell and you're into a space like this. There is that sleeve I'm talking about over here. Nice big pocket here and then another one up here for whatever you would like. This is made in Vietnam, made in USA. Uh, these zippers are also Taiwanese YKK zippers, as far as I can tell. Um, in the new version of this bag, there is some organization in this pocket that is slightly better than the organization here, I think. And there is a quick access pocket on the top. Uh, the laptop compartments, in the new one, in the new one, there's like a sleeve here, which makes it slightly better than this. If you're looking at like an old one on eBay, uh, the laptop compartments are very similar, aside from that this has a frame sheet. Not much in it between these two, but I would probably pick up this one if I was just gonna grab a bag to go. This is one of my favorite bags ever made. This is the Brown Buffalo Conceal bag. This is the 420D version. Not that easy to find. It is made in Vietnam. A lot of Brown Buffalo bags are made in the USA. This one is not. But for me, again, as I mentioned several times, that stuff doesn't matter. Now this bag is laid out slightly better for my life and how I live. Imagine like a oh, Jansport on steroids. That's how I feel about this bag. I love this 420D. It's soft and nice. It doesn't have that intenseness of this. So when I'm just kind of running out and I want to sling a bag over my shoulder, this guy is great. There is a top handle here, which is very Goruckian. Feels very similar to the Goruck top handle. It's like box stitched and double stitched and lining upon lining, nylon upon nylon, blah, 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 blah. The straps on this guy are very, um, they're nice, they're contoured. There's no sternum strap, but not big deal on a bag like this. There is this lovely mesh here, which I find to be great for use and my back does not sweat very much with this bag. There is more mesh here, pass through for your luggagey stuff. There is a secret pocket here, which I love for my keys. I tend to sling the bag around and get into here. The pocket goes all the way to here and it is plush, lined with some very nice material. The bag itself, it has, this version has two pockets in the front, two slip pockets that go everywhere and they don't touch each other. So you end up with like, like my hands are not touching here 
And uh, I find that great in use. I put my wallet and stuff in one side, my mask and stuff in the other side. Very nice. YKK number 10 here. It is a, again, not a USA YKK number 10. There is some padding on the bottom. I should mention every bag in this video has padding on the bottom, including this one. This one is also clamshell opening. There's some organization here on the back. There's like a pen place, somewhere to hang something, a couple of these. I don't tend to use these because like all my stuff is on top of this. It doesn't really make sense to use it. The laptop sleeve is back here. Um, it's not, it's, it's not really raised up off the bottom, but I put that, that, that magic sleeve thing in here anyway, so it tends to be okay. The back panel is padded, but no, no frame sheet, but for a daily bag, that's completely okay. On this side, there are these two pockets that are good for like a water bottle or pouches. They are Velcro, so Velcro is not your thing. And this version of the bag comes with its own pouch that comes off like so. And you can use this pouch in another bag if you wish. A very nice pouch. Uh, very smart. They put the loop side here so that it's not scruffy so you can use this pouch in another bag and then stick that back on here and then you have a pocket on the top uh, again this bag feels amazing in use and i do have a review of this bag coming up soon but i wanted to get it in a video anyway it's very floppy this bag is also very floppy so it shares those things Anyway, let's get that out of here and uh, finish up. This is the Recycled Firefighter 24-hour bag. It's one of the best you can get these days for EDC. Highly recommend it. Um, if you hop on over to the Recycled Fire, Fire website, you'll see it there. Just be aware of the liner. The one that's there now is all black on the inside, not orange like this one. Hey, any questions, hit me up in the comments below. Much love, everybody. Peace. Talk soon. Bye-bye.